All right, everybody, in today's video, we are talking everything batteries. We are gonna be talking about the battery I use to power my trolling motor or my kayak, along with the battery box that it sits in. We'll also be talking about the charger I use to charge this guy. All right, let's start talking about this battery right here. You guys have had a lot of questions on which battery I use, how long does the battery last, what do I use to charge the battery, etc. This battery right here is the 12 volt, 50 amp hour, eco-worthy lithium ion battery. This battery weighs about 12.6 pounds, which I really like, which is a lot lighter than a typical lead battery that you'd buy. Lithium ion is the way to go. I know this is a type of battery that's used a lot in kayaks, boats, etc. On my kayak, I'm trying to spare all the weight possible, so this battery right here being as light as it is definitely helps out. This battery has built-in BMS which is the battery management system. BMS securely protects the cells in the battery from things like overcharge, over discharge, high temperature, short circuit, discharge over current. This battery has a 10 plus year lifespan, which is awesome. I plan on using this battery for a long time. Unlike other batteries that can have a short lifespan, depending on what charger you use, different things like that, this one is gonna last a while. One of the big questions that you guys have had is how long does this battery last? How far can I go with my trolling motor? Now my kayak is primarily powered by a trolling motor. I have around a 30 pound thrust uh, Minn Kota trolling motor. I've been able to be on the water for hours on end without running out of battery. I fished in a kayak tournament out on Lake Fork and I did a whole pre-fish day and the actual tournament day and was able to last both days around eight hours on the water traveling everywhere, trying to go around, find different spots. In my most recent video, I launched from a different part of the lake and had to travel up into a creek. I was fishing for about three to four hours that day, and I traveled probably a total of 5.6 miles, starting from where I launched, going up to where I turned around and came back. When I got back, I checked my battery level. I was at about 60 to 70% battery level still left. I could have gone a couple more hours, longer distance, probably easily doubled my distance, so I could have easily traveled around 10 plus miles on this battery using my current setup. Now my kayak is weighs only about 50 pounds. I'm about a buck 70, buck 75. Everything adds up and you know, with me being able to go about 10 miles or more on a single charge, I think that's awesome. That's hours and hours on end of fishing fun. I think the battery would way outlast my capability of sitting in the kayak that long. This battery is easily found on Amazon, link in the description below. All right, everybody, let's turn to the battery box. The battery box here, is once again found on Amazon link in the description below this is by Newport there's a couple out there that you can choose from there's some plain Jane battery boxes that don't have any hookups or anything on them but I chose this one because this one is a smart battery box it has a couple built-in breakers 10 amp boat accessory breaker and then it has a 60 amp trolling motor breaker on it. If anything goes wrong, you have a breaker system built into the box itself. So you're not just raw dogging it right from the battery to the trolling motor. So on the side here, it does have a USB port, which you can plug things into. And then on the other side, it does have boat accessory plug here. So kind of like a cigarette lighter, type plug that you can plug in similar to what you find in your car. On the top here, it does have a little button that you can press and test to see how much battery power you still have left. Right here on the front, you can see the positive and negative terminals. So if we open this guy up, inside the lid, it does have your positive and negative terminals that do connect to the battery. Um, I like this one because the battery sits safe inside which keeps it protected from weather, rain, all those kind of things. And then it does have this strap that goes across and then clicks together to keep it securely closed. That does keep it securely closed so then you can grab it and you can transport it and pick it up to go anywhere you need. This battery box is definitely big enough to fit this battery, plus I have another lithium ion battery, a smaller one that I use for my fish finder. Definitely love this. Do I wish it was a little bit smaller? Sure, I wish it was a little more compact, but I like all the features that it does have on it. It's nice, the terminals are just little screw-ons. They screw right on here. All right, let's move on and let's talk about the charger. All right, everybody, this is the charger that I use. You definitely wanna make sure you get the right kind of charger if you're gonna run a lithium ion battery. You can't just buy any sort of battery charger. You wanna make sure that it's going to charge it 
appropriately. It just helps protect the battery in general from damage and things like that. You can find this one on Amazon also. Link in the description below. <coughs> this charger is from Ultra Power. Um, it has a four stage microprocessor controlled charger here. Um, it does have a little indicator on the top that you can see how full the battery and where you are in the process. This battery charger just plugs right into the wall. It does come with this little end that comes out of the charger. It comes with different ends that you can switch out depending on what kind of terminals you have for your battery and charger and what your setup looks like. I like to use this one. It has the little alligator clamps that just clamp right onto the terminals. For this battery charge, it takes about five hours for it to have a full charge. So make sure you charge it the night before. Have ample time to get a full charge in, but I have not had any issues with this charger at all. I'm having had issues with it burning up or you know causing any issues, getting too hot, things like that. It does get a little warm when it's in the middle of the process and it's been charging for a while, but it will automatically turn off once it is done charging to protect, help protect the battery. This is one of the cheaper options on Amazon. So that's the reason I went with it. Also, uh, my buddy had it too and he recommended it. So overall, breaking it down, this setup has been awesome, it has not failed me yet. The best thing is that I can go out for hours on end, travel miles and miles, and I can still feel like I can just enjoy and not worry about running out of battery. Factors that you might wanna include, wind, current, all those kind of things can affect how long your battery can. Hopefully this video was informative. I'm just a dad trying to fish on a budget and get out and have a good time. So if you're like me guys, and you're trying to fish on a budget, these are some very good quality products that you can use. And you're trying to save money, especially in this economy nowadays, these are the ways to go. All right, everybody, if you like this video, Give it a like, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.